Greetings everybody, it's Rob and I'm here bringing you guys and some tips and tricks for Foundry, the virtual tabletop system that I've recently used. And this video is going to be talking specifically about one of the modules that I've picked up recently and have been using, and that is the Always HP module. What this does is it adds a little, almost like a little tool on the screen for you that you can type in a number and you can put in the damage and healing from just that. I know for myself and maybe for you, maybe for your players, that sometimes when you try to put in a number, you accidentally remove all the hit points for that character. You kind of, you know, the damage goes all over the place. Potentially, you may hit the wrong button and you have zero hit points and then you don't remember how many hit points you had. You, Yes, yeah, some systems do give you the way to like do damage straight from the chat, but this is another option for systems that don't do that, as well as if you want to customize it. For instance, I know in my Pathfinder second edition campaign that there are numerous resistances to damage and stuff that isn't calculated when you, when you take damage. So I have to do the math and then take the damage after all that. And it can be a bit of a hassle to figure that out. So with that, let's hop into the game and I'll show you how it looks. So the way it looks, I just have this one token here just to show you. And I'm gonna go into the settings for the module. And it's the always HP one. This is the tidy UI in case you're all wondering why the, your, my UI might look different. And you have a few options right here. And I'm actually going to zoom in a bit for you guys so you guys can see a bit, bit more clear what it says. The first option is on load, who can see this? So you can, you have GM, everybody or player only. So I have it on GM only. I may actually switch it to everyone just because giving people the option to use it in case they have an issue with it. Window show. This shows always show, don't show, allow toggling. Allow show and don't show means that they have no option. It's just going to either be there or not be there. And always toggling means you can toggle it, which is this little button over here under the like person setting, which actually toggles. And you can see I'll move it because it popped up behind me. This is what the box looks like. So I can toggle it or untoggle it. Or I can always show and then it stays there and there's no way for me to, to deal with them. This is the resource to change. Maybe your game system has a different hit point you want to track. This is the way you would change the name of the attribute you want to change. It, as it says, most systems use attributes.hp, so there's no need to change that ever. The other ones set the feeder status to on zero hit, hit points. That means when a token hits zero hit points, it's dead and it gains the, the skull icon automatically. This is good and bad. It's good because it shows that the creature has been defeated. It's bad if, you know, potentially there's stuff going on. Maybe they don't, you don't want the enemy to, to show it's dead at zero hit, hit points. Then you want to take that off. Clear death saving throws. This one is all the same thing. When you get healed up, it removes all your saving throws. Clear after applying, all that means is once you put in the number and apply it, it empties the box. It doesn't keep the number in there the last time. This one, up to your choice. Either way, you can go with that one. It's on by default. I didn't touch it, so I'm okay with it. And then allow double click. This means you can hit twice. There's no real reason for this, in my opinion, because the skull and the heart on the thing do it does the same thing. So it just gives you another option to do it. I'm going to show you with this token, this Dragon Storm token. So once I click on the token, you can see its name shows up and its hit points show up. I can click on here and I can go 100 and I can hit this red arrow and he takes 100 health and it updates here. Or I can say 75, heal, and he's heal 75. Say he he's dead, he gets hit. I can hit the skull, automatically hit zero. As the skull icon, like we said, because when they hit zero, they get the skull icon. And you can hit the heart icon 
to fully heal him and he's back up to full. And just like that, you have four quick settings. I know sometimes when I try to go in here and try to like, you know, try and do something, it doesn't like see it removes the zero. Maybe I'm typing it in wrong. I don't know. Some people have said that that worked for them. Some people says it didn't. Don't know. But to me, this module is a lifesaver. It's helped me quite a bit. And just showing you like that double click. I don't really need it when I when I have this and that. We are thing this removes the number that I put in here. And that's it. That's the, the entire module in one quick little burst. And I think it is a game changing module, one that can really help GMs and even players alike who frankly need the extra help there. If you guys are using this always HP module, let me know in the comments down below. While you're down there, be sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video for more Pathfinder content as well as more Foundry content. content. I'm still learning the ins and outs of Foundry, but as I learn more and more of little tips and tricks and modules to use, I'll be passing them along to you guys for you guys to enjoy in your games as well. So thank you guys for enjoying this video and hope to see you next time.